Hey guys, welcome to Dazzling Handmade. Today we're doing a haul video from AliExpress. And we got a smaller and a larger package. Let's get started. <laughs> uh, also, there is a open giveaway going on right now. So if you haven't entered, go and check it out. Um, we got lots of good stuff in it. Okay, first of all, I have stickers. You guys already know the drill for the stickers. I have separate videos showing you individually. This is also mushrooms, but it's different style. Um, let's see. This one doesn't show preview in the back, but it should be six pages. We got a little bit of a shining in it. Very nice. And was this also in here? Yes. It was in my hand buildings for me when i first saw this it looks like new orleans i know it says post office but new orleans was my first um impression uh madame oh what's her name she was also in american horror stories her house looks like this in new orleans uh it was a museum at one point but i think after well, someone actually bought it and it's no longer a museum, but it's the the horror house where she kept slaves in her attic. And she put their blood on her face to make herself younger. Um, this is the second package. And we got lots of stamps in here. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Very nice. A little bit thick but it's okay because it's mostly gonna be a background mm -mm. Ooh, beautiful very good details lots going on oh this is so cute i love that there's so much room to color on the mushrooms the lines are thick not that thick but very thick not too extremely thick so i think the lines are just perfect and we can actually do the outline stamping, not in black, but in very dark gray. And then color it. Oh, look at that cake. Ah, so good. It looks so good. My birthday is coming up and I'm going to bake myself a cake. Um, because I actually love baking and I love cooking. Uh, <laughs> it's my birthday month. Means cake. Lots of cake. And it's going to look something like this one. Maybe not the drizzle, but something similar. Ooh, beautiful. Uh, it's it's stunning. Um, so much room to color. And very good design. Very simple. Kind of kind of minimalist. Which I do like. It's a different style. A little bit different style from most of uh, the things I have and also these sentiments are really good big take up a lot of room this looks very familiar the the flower frame but I do not remember the popping in to say dot 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 sentiment Ooh, look at that gorgeous you can stem down the flower and then color it, cut it out, and put it on top of the mug. That'll look great, right? Nice. Sending sunshine and smiles. Wishing you a sunny day. Very good, both, both scents. Very good size for, even this one, to heat emboss the sentiment. Which I love doing. Because it gives that little bit of shine, that little bit of extra. These are bunnies. They look a little freaky, but these are bunnies. Lots, lots more to go. Birds. Kitties. I'm afraid that that, that crowd is going to have a lot of crowding. Crowding is what I call when it's just a little black details next to each other. But if you watch the... The last or the last last. Same with her, especially the one in the middle. Um, I put up a video. There's two, part one and part two. And I think in part one, there is a cat. It's my cat stamps, which after receiving, I package them up how I'm going to store it. 
and on the back I stamp it to see the outcome so when I'm looking for something I I can just see on the back of what the stamp gonna look like instead of just having to look it on like this and in there I I had this cat that on on this side it looked so dark almost pitch black but when I turned it around seeing the example which I stamped down it was not nothing like the front page thing it is seeing like her dress has a lot of uh, black area and a little bit of dots so um, maybe when I stamp it down it's not as dark um, so yeah even though sometimes this looks very crowded maybe the outcome is not gonna be not gonna be the same that is why I like to do the back stamping <laughs> back stamping Mm, yeah. Mm, fishies. Very cool cat. Mm -hmm. Very cute. And then this one. So for this, I actually have these in stickers. And I also have this style. Uh, same exact thing, but different design. So if you see it in one of my videos, it's I don't... It's not a duplicate. It's just the same style. Little painting and stamps. Halloween! It's almost Halloween. <laughs> Gotta get spooky. Does anyone else make pumpkin pie from scratch? Um, I know a lot of people make it from can, which is totally fine. It, it tastes pretty much the same if you add the same spices. Um, I make it from scratch from an actual pumpkin. I make the pumpkin puree and for some reason for me it comes out a little bit too wet but I found a really good recipe from Food Wishes, a YouTube channel, that makes like a custardy pumpkin pie and I made it and oh my god it came out so good. So good and so beautiful as well. Um, yeah, I can't wait to eat pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice latte, which can be very expensive if you go to Starbucks all the time. So I just buy the syrup, pumpkin spice latte syrup, and just keep it at home, and uh, it will last me for way after November. <laughs> so yeah, um, a little life tip. Okay, that was it for this haul. I chatted a lot. There was a lot in here. Lots of great stamps. I don't think I have any duplicates. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any duplicates here. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. And make sure to go check out that giveaway and enter if you haven't 